Here are 12 vitamins that will prevent heart attacks and strokes. See, vitamins and minerals combat blood clots and blood clotting, which is basically your body's way of actually healing and staying safe, can actually become a problem if it doesn't work as it should. See, when blood clots form where they shouldn't, especially inside your blood vessels, can actually create a serious issues. And this tend to mess up clotting process and block blood flow that can cause really bad problems like heart attacks and strokes. So to keep your heart and blood vessels healthy and let's say prevent these dangerous blood clots, it's important to take care of yourself in many different ways. Some specific vitamins and minerals have become really important in stopping these harmful clots from forming. And making sure our blood doesn't clot too much or too little is super important for staying healthy, of course. But when things get messed up in its balance, it can actually cause some serious issues. And sometimes the blood clots form where they shouldn't because of health problems, lifestyle choices, or even genes. And these clots can actually clog up blood vessels messing with the normal blood flow. And when that happens, important organs and tissues might not get enough oxygen and nutrients, which can lead to big problems or even damage of the organs. So to keep our heart and blood vessels in good shape, certain vitamins and minerals are super important. They actually play a huge role in stopping these clots from forming and of course keeping our cardiovascular system healthy. So that said, let's delve deeper into these essential nutrients and their significance in the prevention of blood clots. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. In addition, I have four free ebooks to give. I will post the link within my website. Don't forget to download it today. In addition, here are the 12 items that will actually prevent heart attacks and stroke. You have turmeric, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, cayenne, vitamin K2, vitamin uh, E, magnesium, niacin, taurine, and nitric oxide. And if you like to listen to every item's benefit and how to dose properly, please continue watching. If not, please give me a like and download my ebook on how to fix atherosclerosis. So number one is turmeric, embraced for centuries in traditional medicine, and it does contain curcumin. It's a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compound. It actually intervenes in the intricate process of platelet aggregation, impending their clumping and preventing the formation of clots. It's a multifaceted action, not only targets inflammation, but also modulates pathways involved in coagulation, contributing to more balanced blood clotting mechanism. And keep in mind, some individuals do super great on it and some do not feel a difference. Now, recommended dose is 2,000 to 5,000 milligrams per day, best consumed with foods that contain fats. Number two is garlic, revered through centuries for its medicinal properties, as garlic stands as a stalwart against clotting. It activates compound allicin, acts as a potent antiplatelet agent, inhibiting platelet aggregation by deterring the clumping of platelets. It actually diminishes the likelihood of abnormal clot formation within blood vessels. Moreover, it does promote the production of nitric oxide, aiding a blood vessel dilation. Now, the contribution to smoother blood flow and the recommendation below three cloves a day with or without food. And if you get a scattered brain effect, reduce the amount and or take L-theanine of 200 milligrams. Number three, ginger. The fiery root of ginger harbors a treasure trove of anti-inflammatory compounds, notably as gingerol. Now, these bioactive elements work synergistically to suppress inflammatory pathways within the body, of course, reducing the tendency of platelet to aggregate. By mitigating inflammation, ginger exerts its influence on platelet behavior. Um, curbing the formation of clots and maintaining the fluidity of blood. Now, those could range anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams daily. Number four is cinnamon, renowned for its flavor presence in various cuisines. It does hold a remarkable potential in supporting circulatory system, rich in antioxidants like polyphenols, and cinnamon aids in safeguarding blood vessels from harm caused by free radicals. 
Now, its properties have been linked to improving blood circulation and potentially helping to relax blood vessels. In addition, it does contribute to better overall blood flow. Moreover, certain compounds in cinnamon may actually play a role in managing blood clotting and potentially reduce the risk of clot formation and, of course, supporting cardiovascular health. Now, dose does vary anywhere between 1,000 to 10,000 milligrams daily, and it could be mixed with your favorite beverage. Number five, cayenne pepper, the fiery heat of capsaicin. Now, cayenne pepper ushers in improved circulation and discourages platelet clumping. Capsaicin's ability to dilate blood vessels promotes better blood flow, reducing the likelihood of platelets adhering to vessel walls. Additionally, it inhibits the action of certain clotting factors, creating an environment less conductive to abnormal clot formation. Now, if dosing of 40,000 heat units, keep every dose at 450 milligrams up to three times a day. If dosing 90,000 heat units, keep it less than 200 milligrams per dose up to three times a day, because if you exceed the amount, it could actually cause hemorrhoids. In addition, it could be mixed with your favorite dish and or coffee. Number six is vitamin K, also known as the chlorine vitamin in the form of MK7, as it does serve as an intricate mechanism of blood coagulation. Its viral nutrient plays a non-negotiable role in the production of various chlorine proteins. Abundantly is found in uh, eggs, cheeses, uh, some greens, which is a, does convert from vitamin K1 to K2, but I don't really go much for the greens as they do contain a lot of oxalates. Now, vitamin K does act as a catalyst in ensuring the body's clotting mechanism operates optimally. Now, incorporating sufficient vitamin K into your diet acts as a safeguard against abnormal clot formation. Now, thereby maintaining, of course, a delicate balance between bleeding and clotting. And I tend to get mine mostly from egg yolks and imported cheese. And the dose could range anywhere between 100 to 500 micrograms per day. In addition, it does regulate calcium in the body. Now, number seven is vitamin E. Uh, celebrated for its multifaceted role in cardiovascular health. It merges as a guardian against platelet aggregation, a pivotal step in actually in clot formation. Its antioxidant powers found abundantly in uh, nuts, seeds, avocado, and of course some leafy greens. It shields blood platelets, preventing them from sticking together and of course forming clots. Now vitamin E's anti-inflammatory attributes not only bolster healthy blood flow, but also elevate oxidative stress within blood vessels, preserving their integrity and of course, and functionality. Now, do look for 400 to 800 uh, IU of tocotrinols made from Enato, and you can actually check out my ebook on how to use vitamin E as a therapeutic level. Now, number eight, vitamin C. Beyond its uh, famed immunity boosting capabilities, vitamin C takes center and stage in preserving blood vessel health. It does actually contribute in the collagen uh, synthesis found abundantly in citrus fruits, bell peppers, strawberries, broccoli, and of course, raw meat fortifies the structure framework of blood vessels. So by bolstering collagen production, vitamin C reinforces the resilience of blood vessel walls ensuring their strength and flexibility, thereby reducing the risk of damage or clotting. Those could range from 100 milligram to 12,000 milligrams, all based on your tolerance levels. Number nine, magnesium, the silent guardian of blood pressure regulation and vascular relaxation. See, magnesium emerges as a crucial element in thwarting abnormal clotting. With its strong hold in spring water, magnesium plays a dual role. It not only regulates blood pressure, but also facilitates blood vessel relaxation, ensuring a smooth blood flow by maintaining its delicate balance. See, magnesium significantly reduces the propensity for abnormal clot formation within blood vessels. Now, those could range from 200 milligrams to 1600 milligrams based on every individual's needs, but you do require a saturate your cells correctly. I do have an ebook is listed on how to saturate with magnesium. Check it out. Now, number 10 is niacin, also known as vitamin B3, plays a role in supporting cardiovascular health by promoting anti-clotting effects and of course, aiding in inflammation control. 
It helps regulate blood clotting by inhibiting platelet aggregation, thereby reducing the risk of abnormal clot formation and blood vessels. Niacin plays a massive role in regulating your cholesterol lipids and prevent oxidization. Dose could range from 100 mg to 9,000 mg per day. Keep in mind, it does cause a flush effect. Now, number 11 is taurine, one of my favorite, and it's the most crucial amino acid with various health benefits. Supports cardiovascular well-being by aiding an anti-clotting mechanism and inflammation control. Now, it does help prevent abnormal blood clot formation by regulating platelet activity, promoting smoother blood flow. Now, include taurine in your diet on empty stomach. Dose will range from... 3,000 milligrams to 9,000 milligrams. No side effect, even reaching in the upper 90,000 milligrams daily. And number 12, one of my ultimate product is nitric oxide. This is very crucial as in the presence of nitric oxide, no stroke or heart attack should occur as it prevents anti-clotting effects, reducing inflammation, plays a crucial role in balancing the blood pressure and improving blood flow. Now, nitric oxide could be obtained from arugula if you can grow your own. If not, then supplementing, of course, would be your next step. Link is listed below on my website. Requirement uh, could be 250 grams of arugula twice a day or take two capsules of 1000 milligrams to activate for more than eight hours daily. Now, all of these items fit together to create a lifestyle that's great for your heart. But before you go making big changes to your diet or the supplements you're taking, it's a good call to hire me as your healthcare expert. This is especially crucial if you got health conditions or you're taking medications. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please share and subscribe. Comment your ideas below. Your input matters.